All right, you can tell what we're doing, Kayla. Okay. Gloving up. First, you want to... This is a venipuncture collection for some labs, and we're just demonstrating how to do that for those who are learning. Just fill your veins. Start at the bottom and fill the direction that they're going in and which one feels best to you to use. You usually want to go in at the bottom of a vein because if you don't, it'll roll on you. And clean it really good. Go back and forth. Tubes ready while this is drying because you want this to be sure this is dry before you go to sticking because it really burns if you don't. And get your tubes ready. We're going to go at the bottom right here. And then you just anchor your hand down with your fingers. Coming slow. You don't want to move this hand at all. You just only move this one. You can see your blood feeling. And once it stops, pull it out. Make sure you have a good anchor on the arm. This one's halfway full, so I'm gonna go ahead and take her tourniquet off. And why do you do that? The tourniquet, so it won't. Hold that out, please. So that it won't squirt out. Mm -hmm. from well, the pressure. and make sure that yeah, it's um. If you leave the tourniquet on and you pull the needle out with it on, it'll it can bruise really bad, and it can like also. It's the back the blood, pressure. Yeah. Yes, the blood okay. will also um. Try to come out too. Okay. Check and, it, and then, yep, you can put a band-aid or whatever the patient prefers, but this helps to stop bruising. And you only leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then you take it off. Thank you. 